They say my, uh, we're at the hospital today, so they say they can feel the heart of the baby. Stop there. Now the child will live. Hallelujah. Amen. the baby. Out! Go that side, mama. Out! The child, they say, is dead. Yeah, so I told you to do it. You mustn't do anything. I'm going to church. You want to remove the child? Yes, but I said I'm going to change today. The child is not dead, eh? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Out! this thing. <laughs> Vomit it. <laughs> Vomit it. <laughs> you should vomit this thing. The child will live. <laughs> Ouch! 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 Can you lift her up? This thing that is blocking. They had to be so that they crush the baby. Out! Leave it! Vomit! If she vomit, the child will live. When you go back, they say they are feeling the heartbeat. Yes. You hear me? Yeah, this is the paper they gave me. These papers yeah. are useless. This paper, I'm throwing them down because they have brought fear on you. Huh? It's true, Dad. Uh, you, you are between. You nearly believe what they're saying. Yes, Dad. Huh? Yes, Dad. Ouch! Because since then, she's sick now. Yes, Dad. It's true, Dad. Vomit. Don't eat this thing. Come on! You saw it. You are free. Can you just go closer there? Look at it. Listen to your baby. How do you feel? I um, feel light. Did. You feel light? Yes. You were feeling heavy. Yes, when I go to the hospital in the morning, the doctor refers that the, the, the baby is dead in the, my home. Can you feel your baby? Yes, I am feeling it. <laughs> See, you go to the doctor. The doctor say you're pregnant, the child is dead. Now the baby is moving inside now. Sister, you still want to vomit? Look at her there. But that thing is out that way. You see? There. Brother, were you having a child with her? Two, they, they, they passed on again, the same stage. At the same stage? Yes. After this, operation. After operation? Yes. So this one will never die. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But I don't trust you, eh? I don't trust you. 
Because what I'm saying this thing here, you must believe God more now. Amen. And stop doubting. Amen. Because the devil wanted to remove you from church. Yes, I was, I was being pressed down. No, not pressed down. I see Satan speaking with you to say, go from church. Yes, it's true, Dad. Huh? He it's wants true. to remove you from charis. Amen. So that this thing will happen. So that you will lose children, lose children until, until. You have yeah. never lost children when you are here, eh? Yes. Eh? We have never Now lost. you are starting to have this one. Yes. Now these demons say, leave church. Leave charis. You will lose the baby if you do that. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Can I get some? you all in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to thank God and also to appreciate the grace of this house. On Wednesday morning, I took my wife to the hospital for sauna. So when we go to the hospital, the doctors, they declared that the child is dead. So, but I knew where the child came from because I remember Daddy gave me prophecy last year that there's a woman who's going to have a baby and it's going to be a baby boy. So I told the doctors and I said, I, I know you say that the child is dead. But allow me to go. I need to go to church. So when I came here, Daddy was praying for people and he was moving around. So I was holding the papers in my hands for, for the scan. Then I told Daddy that uh, the daughter, they said, my, my, my baby is dead. Then daddy says the child is not dead. So daddy prayed for my wife. And my wife was delivered. And the baby started moving in, in, in his womb. In a womb. So I'm here to thank God and appreciate God what He's done for us. And I believe next time I'm going to come again to give a testimony holding Him. I thank God for that. Amen. Amen.